Hi everyone, welcome to Nala's Kitchen, a show about delicious food, mental wellness, and yes, adoption. My name is Nicole, and I welcome you into a space that brings me so much joy. This show is all about taking life's avocados and turning them into avocado brownies. This show got its name from my sweet girl Nala. Damn, she looks cute. Who I adopted from the Long Beach Animal Shelter. So in honor of her, every episode we will be highlighting a different pet that needs you. A home that could be yours. And every episode we will be putting all their description, all the info you need for adoption below. Now, you may be asking, what are we baking today? We are baking avocado brownies. A healthier version of brownies. We just like them all better than regular brownies at this point. Before we get into that though, what is the pet we are highlighting on today's episode? Well, it is Mr. Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle is <laughs> Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle is a 16-year-old domestic short hair kitty that is at the Long Beach Animal Shelter that is looking for a new home. And that new home could be yours. Now that we're feeling inspired to adopt, let's fill our mind with some peace that comes with baking and fill our tummies with some yummy avocado brownies. Let's get to baking. Alrighty, so to make our avocado brownies, you may be asking, what the heck do we need to make these guys? Well, you're gonna need an eight by eight baking pan. You're gonna need just one bowl. We're gonna throw everything in here. A little, little mixer mixer. You can also use a fancy mixer or just a handheld mixer. Either one, we just need to get it mixed up. You will need baking soda. You will need vanilla extract. You will need cacao powder. Cacao. You will need chocolate chips, semi-sweet probably, unless you wanna make these dark chocolate. You're gonna need some maple syrup. You're gonna need flour. And you're gonna need oil, two eggs, and yes, Avocado. So uh, let's get everything in this bowl and mix it all up and get our brownies going. First, great, great, great. First, you're not going to do that. First, you're going to cut your avocado and hopefully it is ripe and ready to go. And you are just going to twist that guy off. Yeah. You're going to dump. You are going to dump that in here, okay? And well, this guy kind of flopped together, so that's interesting. <laughs> that's not what we want. Um, okay, we are going to get the rest of this avocado, and then I'll meet you back here after I get this situated. All right, welcome back. Um, the avocado got stuck to the seed, so I had to do some surgery. But we are here, and this is what you would like your avocado to look like. It's beautiful looking avocado. You're gonna throw it in here. Now, this is the part that is important. You need it as mashed and mixed up as possible. If you still have like chunks, then you're gonna have avocado chunks in your brownie. So if you like chunks, then you don't have to mix it as much. We, however, don't love the chunks, so we mixy-mixy. So, you're gonna get some uh, nice mixer ASMR, and we're gonna go in on these. You can start slow if you want, but it's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a process. We're we're getting it basically as mushy as possible. Mushy, mushy, mushy. And then I'm gonna get all this guy scooped together. I'm gonna go in again. Break it up, break it up, speed it up. Yeah. Ah! Pause for avocado pickup. Now that we've got it pretty mixed up, this is what it looks like, nothing too crazy right now. We're gonna start adding some of our wet ingredients in, which would be two eggs. Bonk. One more. Brilliant, brilliant. If you can compost, compost. Alrighty, now that we got both of our eggs in here, we are now going to add two third cup of maple syrup. Oh yeah, look at that. It's like for pancakes and you're ready and you're excited for pancakes, except you're having avocado brownies. Then we are going to do 
a fourth cup of olive oil. We're doing olive oil. You can also do coconut oil. We prefer olive oil. Blomp. And then you will be doing a tablespoon of vanilla. Boop. And now we're just gonna give it a little bit of a mix again, just to get the wet ingredients mixed in there. All right, now that we got all of our wet ingredients mixed together a little bit, we are going to do a third cup of our cacao powder. Cacao to cacao. Dump that in. And you are going to then also follow that with your fourth cup of flour. And last but not least for this guy, you need one teaspoon of baking soda. Alrighty, we got our baking soda in. Now, this part is importante. Muy importante! You need to mix this completely, no chunks. Again, unless you like chunks. We don't like chunks. We're mixing. Beautiful, beautiful. Turn the beat around. Da, 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 da. We're making it go faster. Alrighty, we are about all mixed up. This is what it would look like, and we want it as mixed as possible if you don't like chunks. So this is as mixed as it's gonna get. Now, the next part. You will be adding in a half a cup of semi-sweet, half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips in here. And if you are someone that is not like me, and you like walnuts or any kind of nuts in your chocolate desserts, then go ahead and mix in a half a cup of those too. So you can do a half a cup of walnuts. I don't like nuts in my chocolate. So it's just gonna be semi-sweet chocolate chips. We are mixing in here. Ooh, yeah, that looks so, mm. Smells so good. All right, now that that is all mixed in, we are going to dump it into our eight by eight that we have also already oiled. Don't forget that step. You don't want these to stick. Ooh. Ooh. Dun, dun. Now you always want to make sure you are leveled when you're putting anything into the oven. So I always give it a quick little shake shake. You look level. We leveled. So what the next steps would be is to preheat your oven if you haven't already to 350 and you will be throwing these in for 30 to 40 minutes. If you have an oven that cooks pretty quick, you only need to do about 30 minutes. We're only gonna do about 30 minutes because you still want them super moist and soft. So I will see you in 30 minutes. 30 minutes later. Hello, welcome back after the 30 minutes in the oven. These are what our avocado brownies look like. And we did the fork test slash toothpick test. Nothing came out, so they are ready. You definitely do not want to overcook these, so definitely keep an eye on them and do the test whenever you feel necessary. I'm gonna give them a little cut so you can see the consistency of them. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, yeah. Oh my gosh, those are burning hot. Burning up like the Jonas Brothers. Okay. All right. It's burning! Again, this is Nicole. <laughs> I am Nicole, this is Nala's Kitchen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends and family, not only about Nala's Kitchen, but also about Snickerdoodle and all the other pets at the Long Beach Animal Shelter that need a new home. All the descriptions will be linked below. And until next time, stay seasoned and balanced and enjoy your avocado brownies. Adios.